Critical defense and critical duty. Is there really a difference between them? Critical defense is a little bit different design bullet than the critical duty. And what the critical duty is designed for is to punch through barriers. And the critical defense is more for not punching through barriers. So the critical defense is designed for civilians to not get over penetration. The critical duty is designed for law enforcement to get penetration through things like car doors and auto glass. So let's hit this ballistic box in a nice fresh area here with this 18 gauge steel. And we'll punch through that. We'll punch through the carpet barrier there then through this three quarter inch piece of wood. And then we'll see what it does to water jugs and see if there's any difference between the critical defense and the critical duty in nine millimeter. So let's get started. Right, first up is the critical defense. This is a 115 grain. This is rated at 1140 and actually got 1158. And the critical duty was rated at uh, 1115 and I was actually getting 1058. However, the energy was almost identical between the two of them. So this should be a pretty interesting fair test considering both have almost the same exact energy. I believe it was 343 foot-pounds for the critical defense and 336 foot-pounds for the critical duty. So same, same energy. So here is the critical defense 115 grain FTX. I'll try to go right through this metal here where I can get these water jugs and see what it does to them. So here we go. We went through the barrier. We got a nice clean hole through the barrier. Hole in and out of the second jug. And we actually have the bullet in the third jug. So here's what we're getting a nice a nice hole through there. Right on through. First, second, third. Entrance hole right here. No exit. Let's get that bullet out. Jug 2 had the jacket and the plug, and the jacket has been completely rolled around behind itself, and a total separation from the core, which was in the third jug. So it did okay, however, you know, there's not a lot of expansion there, and it was just the core making it through what would be considered... Um, acceptable penetration. So let's see how the critical duty compares. All right, here's the critical duty, 135 grain. See how that does. I don't think I have the bullet anywhere that I can see. That's kind of why I backed them off a little bit into it a little bit more. I was thinking it might go through and hit the back. I don't see any dents. Actually, I do. Way down at the bottom here, we have a little bit of a dent in the wood. So we did get a complete pass through of that projectile. And here it is in the box. <laughs> it came back the other way. So here we are. That's a big significant difference actually. Got a little bit more penetration. If there was a fourth jug back there, I suspect it would have stopped in that, which would be about 18 inches of ballistics gel. So I would definitely say it performed better than the critical defense through a barrier. We have the band that's holding the uh, jacket on. And there it is. So is there a difference between critical defense and critical duty? Yes, I would say there is. Is it really going to make a big difference to you? Uh, I guess you be the judge of that. Uh, for me, I, I think I'd rather have the critical defense. I'd rather make my shots count anyway. So that's just my opinion. Share what you think. So comment, share, and like. And as always, thanks for watching.